So everyone in the world has heard recently about Justin Bieber talking about his facial paralysis that happened due to reactivation of a virus and in today's video we're going to be talking about that actually as to when dormant viruses, ones that are residing in us and are no longer infecting or dividing, become come out of that latency and become infectious all over again okay so before we get started i wanted to let you know um, that we have another covid q a event coming up please stay till the end of the video to find out how you can get free tickets to that all right so as i mentioned justin bieber did talk about this unusual event where he had this uh, virus come out of latency the virus itself is very chill out um, zoster virus it's also known as human uh, herpes virus number three it's one uh, one out of eight uh, herpes viruses that are infecting humans i believe there's eight of them and basically that virus when it infects you it causes chicken pox and um, and then it can become uh, dormant for a, for a long time and uh, so when when does it come come out of dormancy so w typically with that particular own oh, part also what is the condition that happened to him is referred to as ramsey hunter uh, um, syndrome but it's part of like the shingles uh, um, family of symptoms so this particular virus when it comes out uh, it causes shingles and that basically means you have a rash that goes along the specific nerve that is being attacked by the virus and if it attacks the facial nerve then that's when it's referred to as uh, Ramsey Hunter syndrome which is rare it it happens in less than one percent so a big question is can vaccines cause it and the answer is yes it's been known that in the past and it's also been observed with COVID-19 vaccines and the authors of one publication that discussed this had a very interesting comment with regards to this they they proposed an interesting theory as to why this might happen to, uh, post vaccination and they mentioned is that possibly what happens is that post vaccination you require the production of so many T cells that it actually reduces the ability of the body to produce T cells needed to actually keep the virus down. Okay, so typically we have a pool of T cells called naive T cells. They can differentiate to a specific type and basically so many of these naive T cells are sequestered for the production of vaccine specific T cells that under some circumstances in some individuals you might not have enough to produce T cells to keep the virus in check and the virus can come out of dormancy so that's a theory, proposed theory and uh, so shingles can be observed post -vac COVID-19 vaccines as well and this is actually very well established symptom uh, already it hasn't been observed during clinical trials at all so it didn't it wasn't known it's one of those um, effects that has been observed in long-term studies and in one recent publication that involved more than a million individuals so it's it's uh it was a very large study um they showed that the likelihood of developing shingles post vaccine is uh, twice as high than in would be in a population they and that translates to about in a vaccinated population shingles was occurring about at 0.2 percent of the population as opposed to 0.1 percent of the population that was unvaccinated so it is a natural phenomenon normally when the viruses do come out out of their dormancy and become um, become uh, infectious again the molecular mechanism of that is not known but it is known that it requires immunodepressive state of an individual so typically shingles are observed in older individuals that's because once again it's believed that older individuals um, go through immunosenescence and they simply do not have the same level of of immune cells that can actually work to their benefit and uh, and it can happen in other other um, circumstances of immunodeficiency. A good example would be for um, HIV patients, cancer patients, and even people who has have undergone transplant. But what about healthy individuals that do not fall in this category? They can also experience this, but typically that is associated with extreme stress, and that again will make sense because that extreme stress can 
can negatively impact your immune system. Other events can also cause it, uh, such as, for example, vi other viral infections. And so you can see, once again, an example of how your immune system could be compromised and why a virus that otherwise would be dormant could come out of dormancy and cause an infection. So that basically explains how this, this could happen. All right, if you're still uh, here, then let me tell you about COVID-19 Q&A. We have a, another one, basically, uh, for these events that are a lot of fun. We answer top 10 questions posed by our online audience. And after that, it's an open mic session for uh, uh, the attendants, uh, attendees. And uh, you can either ask questions or lately we're also getting more and more comments. And uh, they're turning out to be real fun educational sessions because we have uh, different experts in their own right coming out uh, to these and they oftentimes the discussion of revolves about natural ways of protecting your immune system so that's really interesting as well if you want free tickets to this the first 10 people who subscribe to Merogenomics newsletter will send you free tickets, post, post this video and the link to the subscription is in the description below. We have another event coming up. This is for business owners who would be interested in offering a proactive well-being program to their employees to make sure their employees can do their best. And basically me and two other experts got together where we discuss and teach about the different ways of how we can proactively take care of your your well-being and we we discuss it from the point of view of financial well-being um, also mental health well-being and finally physical well-being which is my domain and i also discuss how you can protect your um, protect your health um, in relation to using genetic testing so interesting stuff if you're interested in that again the link is in the description below so um, if you like this video please give us a like share the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, this is how we grow and um, also wanted to say big thank you to everyone who has have donated money uh, to us thanks for all of your super thanks all of the, your donations go straight to the production of this video so big appreciation and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time bye everyone